Let's go on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Terry Winstead, who writes, Hey, John and crew. I just saw that Michael Jai White was discussing uh, that fans have been asking him to play Green Lantern and that he's, uh, he's, he'd be more, probably meant to say he'd be more than willing to do it. I know you're a fan of his. What would you think of him as Green Lantern, John Stewart? Uh, thanks for being a safe place for us to all talk about other things than the stressful stuff in our world, even just for a few hours. Love to all. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Terry. And yeah. To say I'm a big Michael Jai White fan is a little bit of an understatement. I think the dude is awesome. And I was already a fan of Michael Jai White. And you might have heard me mention this film before. If you have not seen Michael Jai White's film, Black Dynamite, oh my God, you have got to go see it. It's It's got to be it probably in the top 10 to 15 of the hardest I've laughed in a movie theater. Part of that was just the environment. A lot there's a lot of Los Angeles references and Black Dynamite as well. You know, there there are jokes about um, Roscoe's chicken and waffles. I mean, there's there's love. constantly because you constantly got Ross a character Roscoe going, "Welcome to Roscoe's Donuts and Cigarettes," <laughs> and he's cost, and this Roscoe guy is trying to constantly come up with the name for the oh, restaurant. Oh God, I love that. And then it lands on somebody says, "May I get some chicken and waffles?" And you see Roscoe. <gasps> Of course, if you don't live in L.A., <laughs> right? If you don't live in L.A., that's not going to mean anything to you. But I was laughing my ass. Of off. course, Jai White had the, we had lunch at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. You, you and I have had lunch at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Oh my god, I've yeah. eaten there a lot. Actually, whenever I'd go over to Dennis Zen, because Dennis Zen lives pretty close to a to a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, so almost any time I've gone, I'll, I'll go over to Dennis's. It's like at some point I'll try to plan a stop at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. It's fantastic if you ever visit L.A. Visit Roscoe's Chicken. And you Waffles. must. But Michael Jai White. He showed a comedic sense in that movie of knowing when to push mm. the limit of ridiculousness and then ease it back a little bit and then push the limit again and then ease it back again. If you've never seen Black Dynamite, you absolutely have to. Now, on to the question, though, about him possibly playing Green Lantern. Um, it is something that's been brought up by a number of fans in the past about whether Michael Jai White could be a Green Lantern. Now, actually, this is specific. Let's go to what he said himself. Michael Jai White was on his social media and he said the following. So, I was asked what character uh, I would like to play from the Marvel or DC Universe. And that answer would have to be from the DC Universe, a character called Jon Stewart, because that's what everybody wants me to play. That's a Green Lantern, one of the Green Lanterns. So... Can't let the fans down. That's Michael Jai White. And of course, Michael Jai White's already kind of in the DC universe because he's in the Arrowverse. And he, I actually really like him in the Arrowverse as well. So here we go. Jon Stewart. Now, I'm going to say a couple of things that why I may not love the idea of Jon Stewart uh, or, or of uh, Michael Jai White playing Jon Stewart. There's a couple of, of little reasons. One to me is like for me, because of when I was reading comic books, the definitive Green Lantern is Hal Jordan. You know, it's not Kyle Rayner. It's not Guy Gardner. It's not um, any of the other characters who, who have played. To me, the definitive Green Lantern is Hal Jordan. So when I think of Green Lantern, I want to see Hal Jordan. But that's a minor thing. Even if you wanted to go with the Jon Stewart Green Lantern, which is a very popular Green Lantern because they featured that Green Lantern in a lot of the animated stuff. Mm -hmm. So the, he's got a real following there too. There are still a couple of reasons why, even though I love Michael Jai White, I don't know that he's the right guy for that. Reason number one is Michael Jai White right now looks 50 times better than me, but he's 52. He is not 52. I, I know, right? I know. He's 52 years old. He's, he's, he's like a genetic freak, but he's 52 years old. <laughs> That's incredible. Now, I, I, I just don't know that you can start a new franchise with the lead being 52. But then again, there have been some exceptions to that, so, so I don't know. But here's the other reason why I don't love the idea of Michael Jai White as Green Lantern, and that is this. If I found out that we got to have Michael Jai White in either the DC or the Marvel Universe, the dude's a legit martial artist. He's a guy you don't have to get in stunt doubles. He can do fantastic-looking stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that talent, is that gift going to be wasted on a character where most of the action is going to be CGI, where his mm -hmm. most action is by darkest night and but ring, do your thing. No, mm -hmm. that should be the Green Lantern's new catchphrase. Right. Ring, do your thing. Ring, do your thing. Um, 
So listen, if they announce, because I'm such a huge Michael Jai White fan, were they to announce that he was doing Green Lantern, I'd be fine with it. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I would even be excited. If DC were to call me and say, should we have Michael Jai White as Green Lantern? I'd probably come up with several other names who are also really, really good. Partially because I think at 52, it's a little little too old at this point, not to be in big movies, but to start a franchise as a character. But more importantly, I'd be like, hey, listen, if you're looking to put Michael Jai White into some comic book movies, there have got to be other characters we can put him in as where he can show off what he's capable mm-hmm. of and really take that to the next level. So I don't know. I feel a little torn about it. Anyway, Aaron, uh, Michael Jai White has, has been doing some good stuff for a long time. But what mm-hmm. do you think about the idea? And, and what do you think about a celebrity... You know, even getting on social media and talking about roles they'd like to have. So I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I, I mean, I don't think, you know, we, we talk about, uh, you know, being cautious on social media in multiple ways, not just saying the wrong thing, but also putting something out there that you don't that you don't really have an interest in in in, in coming to fruition. And so we've seen it time and time again where someone has put something out on social media as almost a beacon of saying, hey guys, you know, I'm actually interested in this. So if you, I, I hear there's some buzz around this and I'm open to having that conversation. I, I will say, I think it's a little ageist to suggest that a 52 year old, especially one who has clearly not physically aged, um, uh, poorly uh, to say that he can't start a franchise because I mean look at how old Tom Cruise is and he's still I mean and he's jumping out of helicopters and doing crazy things yes. like that in a film franchise he's been already doing for over a decade like I, I just that's let me be very very clear about that because you know one of the things they were able to get Hugh Jackman he mm-hmm. could be Wolverine for 20 years true because he got in he started playing the character at a certain time. They they one of the reasons Sony has gone out to get Tom Holland to play Nate and uh, or Nathan in uh the Uncharted movies is because they want the potential to have him playing that role for 15 years over mm-hmm. seven films or eight films. I it's it's not that I don't think uh Michael Jai White who is fabulous can't come in and play a great role in a great action film. I just wonder are you then limiting it? Can he be playing Green Lantern when he's 70? And, and I don't know But here's the thing, that. because he's not going to have to do anything more than ring do your thing, he kind, can. Kind of like Robert and, Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, that's true. Right, Robert and so Downey that's Jr. the thing that's is that point. if, so good point. I, you know, I hear you on your point of we don't want to waste all of his martial arts talent with a character where he can't show that off, but I think that this is incredible foresight on the part of Michael Jai White to say, this is a character that I'm open to because this is a character that even when I physically am unable to do all of the stunts that are often required for a more complicated physical character, this is a character that I can do for the next 15 years, believably, you know? And he also might, you know, just because he has that martial arts talent doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to use it in the world of filmmaking. It's one thing to have it as a skill and as a hobby. It's another thing to be required to do it on a set over and over and over again and put your body through those rigors. And, in, and, and you know, comedic actors, you cannot do comedy if you are dumb. <laughs> Only smart people can do comedy because it is exponentially more challenging than than drama is. And I say that as someone who usually works in drama, no, 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 no. Comedy's way harder. And so I think that, and so clearly what you were saying about his ability to know when to push and when to pull back. Incredible comedic senses he has. That just shows also to his intelligence. And I think that his foresight, I think that his, his interest in playing a character that he actually can age with and can play for the next 10 to 15 years because he would be putting his body through those rigors speaks to his foresight and him saying no i want my own franchise and this is the right one to do it because this will allow me to age all right question here is guys i mean i obviously love michael jaiway what do you guys think about the idea of him as john stewart do you think that's the right role for him do you think it might be better suited for somebody else do you think he might be better suited for a different character or do you think this is a match made in heaven what do you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts all right guys